Hi guys, so I'm back at it again because it's actually my second time recording this video and some things they always happen but this time is something else. My SD card got destroyed by one of my little ones and it, I just mainly lost one video and it was this unboxing so I had to redo it now. Well the reason why I wasn't able to transfer it is because I would have to delete stuff from my iPad and my iPad has a lot of memory. I forgot how much but it has a lot. <laughs> But it's just that I'm using up so much memory that I have to delete videos in order to transfer videos. And right before that happened, I did transfer a video and some pictures. So good thing I transferred those at least or else I would have been very, very bummed out. Because, But anyways, guys, so I'm back at it again. But this is basically going to be like just showing you guys what I got in my premium box. And then last month, I wasn't able to show you guys what I got in my premium box because my June premium arrived on July 2nd. So it arrived super late. And before that i was really upset because it came so late but when i opened it i wasn't mad anymore because they actually sent me like a an additional palette like like they sent me an extra dominique's cosmetic palette so now i have another one i'm all okay i could probably use that maybe for a future giveaway so i i wasn't upset anymore and then my version was actually pretty good so i'll just have a picture right here and yeah that was my version and i loved it that's like one of the best premium months I think there was another premium month I had that was really good, but yeah, that's another good month for now me. Now for this month, it's actually a takeover box. So it's the Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's like two different brands, so ABH and then Norvina is like her daughter. And well, this the this is how the box looks from the inside. So I basically just fold it out, you know, because inside it's just a boxy charm right there. So I just folded it out for pictures and to show you guys. So this is a car, so it's a big car, and I got operation 239, and my weight, I'll leave it the info right here. So the first choice item I have is right here. So this is the palette I chose. I chose the purple one, so now I have an extra purple palette because I also get PR, so I'll leave a video up there if you guys are interested. I unboxed four, like, membership boxes, <laughs> but they were all PR, so it was like, so I have time frames in that video, so if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link up there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my extra one. I could save it for a future giveaway, gift it, or I could sell my extra one because I did buy the orange one. So quick. So this orange one, I bought this one as an add-on. So this is what I use on my today's eye look. And I actually really like it. Uh, I was really excited because the colors, they're so different. I haven't done swatches, but I don't want to right now. So yeah, very pretty. I like it. Also, I forgot to mention. So. Since I paid this for an add-on, well, it arrived separately, but I think this was like $24. So I could probably, maybe if I wanted to, I could sell the purp my extra purple one to get my money back. Because this is actually pretty pricey, but either way, it's a good deal compared to $60. The packaging of the purple one, super pretty. Right here's the colors. So they're very purple, like, mix of colors, purple, reds, berries. So I did swatches on this palette on my PR video, so I'll just do like an overlay thing showing you guys the swatches but they all swatch the shimmer swatch very beautiful and the mats for the bottom swatches they swatch better than the ones on top i think this palette is very pretty and i haven't used this palette to make it a look yet but i'll try to do it for my next look for every premium box it's always 35 dollars plus tax so that adds up to 37 so palette alone just pays the box and more Perfect. for my second choice item I chose the ABA translucent powder and this thing is friggin huge so this is worth $25 and yeah it's already dirty it gets dirty very easily the packaging because it has that soft thing I don't know it just gets dirty very easily but it's very big and I've used it even for today's look too I really like it I feel like I need to put more just to show you guys there's not a really scent to it I kind of wish there was but it's okay so I like the way this looks like it just makes your face look so i don't know i feel like it like it doesn't cake up that much you know i'm just gonna put a little more just to brighten up my eye a little bit because my under eye makeup it's already smearing a bit like the mascara i think it's mostly the mascara i'm trying to find a mascara that doesn't do that to my eyes like it flakes on my bottom lashes so by adding it even a little more, I don't see it kicking up. So I really like this translucent powder so much. I actually think this is my current brand new favorite. And I haven't tried so many um, powders in general. The other one I have is the Tarte one. And then I have uh, by Santa London. And then I also have a KVD powder. 
and so far i think this one's my favorite so yeah i'm really excited about using that and then the next item i have right here is a setting spray so i really really love this setting spray so this is a it's a dewy set setting spray and this is worth 26 dollars and you guys the packaging the packaging is gorgeous but the glitteriness to it that's not how the spray looks like it's not that glittery it's not that super dewy glitter <laughs> it's just the packaging so i think the packaging is freaking it's like it's so pretty <laughs> And but um, the smell of it is supposed to be like a coconut vanilla scent and it smells really good it doesn't smell that heavy to me it smells very kind of refreshing it does have a, like a little thing right here like unlock and lock so I think that's a nice thing to add and it feels so refreshing oh yeah also another thing I want to add when you, if you spray it onto your lips, if it lands on your lips, it kind of tastes a little bit sweet too. That's why I like that too. This is like a bonus thing. And this setting spray, I don't think it makes your face super dewy, but it's like a right amount of doing this. I really like the finish of it. So right now my face is a little bit still wet, but we just wait till it dries down. So right here's another item that I got in my box. So this is so this is a shimmer body oil and this is for $38. And right here's the packaging. So I actually took it out of the box. And you guys, this actually, <laughs> I had another one that came with the box, but I already gifted it to my friend. And so I bought this one over Macari because after seeing like a video, I'm like, oh, that looks really pretty. You know what? Okay, I'll, I'll get it for myself too. And I really love the packaging so much. It's so sleek. And it smells really good too. Like it smells very vanilla-like. So it almost reminds me like a perfume and it just adds glitter to your body. I don't think the spray is that great in my opinion. It's like, see, look at the glitter. Oh. Oh, like it's very, it's pretty glittery. And it smells really good. So it's like a perfume, almost. Ooh. The way it feels though, I feel like it feels kind of sticky. Uh, if you guys try that, like, let me know if you guys feel the same way. I am pretty tan. So I think adding the glitter makes me more tan. <laughs> but it's really pretty. So, Yeah, but it does feel sticky. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't like the stickiness. So if you have it, of course, as you're rubbing it in with your hands, your hands feel sticky. So I'm just going to use a baby wipe to kind of clean my hands a bit okay all right so the next item in my box is a loose highlighter and it's in the shade vegas and this is worth 25 dollars. so a lot of these items they're kind of worth like a good amount like 25 or higher or 22 and up so look at the packaging on this the packaging is really nice so i know it looks glittery but it has a smooth finish but i think it's cute and i don't really often use loose highlighters because I feel like it's a little bit of an inconvenience but this one is so pretty so right here how it looks so see the powderiness so see so you only need a little bit so if you get too much it gets a little bit chunky that you just have to spread it out so it's very pretty though it's so pretty honestly this is very gold gold like champagne like a very dark gold so that's why I think it looked better with darker complexion. So maybe I could pull it off. Maybe. But I'm thinking more for the eyes. Okay, so now finally for the last item. It's a brow, a clear brow gel. So this is worth $22. And I actually own this. So this is the one I own. So the other one, I have it stored away. It's not that bad. Like it's in the middle. Like it's, I feel like it doesn't have that strong of a hold. So let me see. I already have some brow gel, but but this brow gel is actually enough just to like it's good enough just to tame your brows a bit. And then also an, a good thing about it that it doesn't ha have that hardness, like it hardens your brows, but it doesn't have like it doesn't show it like the thickness to the harness but yeah guys so that was everything i received in my premium box so i really wanted to share with you guys that's why i wanted to record this again went ahead and added up um everything and it added up to 209 so i feel like that was a little bit lower than usual i feel like with the premium box you're supposed to have a higher value but i'm thinking maybe because since it's a takeover box maybe the value 
is lower due to the items that are being featured so but either ways i think the 35 bucks or i guess 37 bucks that i paid for this makes the box really worth it for everything i received since it's all abh and you guys know if you guys know i do love abh so i'm very happy with this box the only thing i think i would have loved if i received a brow product instead of the loose highlighter i think the loose highlighter i would have been okay without but but if you guys know me you guys already know i love my brow products I like so much but either ways this box is so worth it so if i were to rate this box of course i'll rate it four stars out of five i think my favorite items from this box i think two of my top favorites is the abh translucent powder and the dewy spray i love this so much it smells so good and this one the best setting powder ever that i've tried and then this one comes like a third favorite it smells really good the only thing i just don't like it it feels sticky but yeah let me know down below what you guys liked from what you received like what did you get from your premium box did you guys think it was worth it i think it was and i'm pretty happy and i can't wait hopefully they have a great takeover box whenever they have it like the next one i kind of do enjoy these takeover rocks because it's like one brand you get to decide like oh do i want to try out that one brand for the multiple items like you just instantly know like if you want to try out a brand or not so what are you guys hoping for the next takeover box is gonna be like which brand would you love i will love i will love our beauty rare beauty and like okay so there's been a brand spoiled that rare beauty is going to be in a boxy charm but we don't know if it's just going to be separate items or a takeover box but i'm really hoping that it's going to be a takeover box but you know honestly i doubt it but i really hope so though but either ways i'm so excited for the brand because i really want to try more of the brand but yeah that's about it guys so if you guys like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you guys think what you guys got in your box and then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and all buttons so you guys can be notified every time i upload a brand new video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys